Hey everybody, how we doing today? So it's that time of year again, lobster season. So we're just a couple of days away from the uh, mini lobster season, which is basically a 48 hour window for the recreational anglers to get out there, get some lobsters before the full commercial season starts. Now this year starts on July 24th at 12.01 a.m. And then it runs, that's Wednesday, and then it runs through Thursday until midnight on the 25th. So it gives a 48 hour window. So to prepare for that, I figured I'd bring out my old bucket of lobster gear and kind of do a quick review for you. And actually this mini lobster season, I think I'm gonna change things up a bit. So for my standard gear, I'll just kind of whip through this stuff. Just got a basic cheap mask and snorkel. Um, we're most of the time not doing very deep water dives, probably at most 15 foot, probably more or less in the five to 10 foot is on average. So I don't need anything special. I've been using this one for five years or so. And I think I need to duck th dunk this in some bleach because it's all black and moldy. Uh, then just another pair of uh, fins. These help out to kind of get you kicked down to the bottom, save your uh, oxygen and get you there under there faster, let you kick around a bit. You could do them without, but it makes it a lot easier with. Some gloves, spiny lobsters for a reason they're called that, so protect your hands. Uh, good old net here, and I basically use the tickle stick to kind of tickle them out of their holes and then scoop them up with the net. I've modified mine and added a uh, GoPro adapter on it so you can get those close-up footage of scooping them up. Uh, the tickle stick, you can get actual lobster tickle sticks. I just go down to the Ace Hardware and get aluminum rod. I think it's like, uh, what is size is this? A quarter inch, four foot piece. Bend the little corner at the end there and then that's your tickle stick. Always pick up a couple I uh, always find them out there, but uh, always take at least two because you'll eventually probably lose one and you don't have that, you're out of the game. So I always take two. Got to have a dive flag or uh, some sort of dive flag on your vessel or at least those tow around ones are good if you're going to be getting away from your boat or whatever you're using to get, a, get around. So dive flag is important, mandatory. Oh, also, you need a gauge. I have mine attached to my net, so it's always there. Um, you have to measure the lobsters in the water, so you can't take them out and measure them. You gotta uh, measure them while they're still in the water. Check that length and then keep them or throw them back. And then next, I bring my flats anchor because it's very little depth and generally fairly calm water. So I just need something that I could drop stops the kayak, I go diving, and then also I could lift it by hand and then just kind of kick around to another spot, drop it, and then I never have to bring it all the way to the top unless I'm moving to a new location. Then I carry a five gallon bucket that keeps everything. I have a nice crack in this one, uh, which I meant to keep because what it does, it drains out the water all the time and it doesn't get everything all wet and nasty. So that's that. Now this year is going to be a little different. Um, I'm kind of actually lobstered out. I did a lot of lobstering last year and I caught a lot of them all the way up till the end of the season in March. Uh, so I figured this year I'm going to change things up at least for the mini season. And I am going to be using this guy here. Um, we call it bully netting and it's basically a regular net just bent at a 90 degree angle. And what it's for is that you go out at nighttime when lobsters are out meandering around and feeding, use spotlight to spotlight them, and then you'll use a bully net like this to be on your vessel looking down into the water, and you see one, and then you just drop it over the top. They kick around into the end, and then you just bring them up. And uh, that way you could use that by doing it at nighttime since you can't dive at night. And uh, just a pretty cool way of doing it. Plus, it'll mean I'll miss the crowds for a mini season because it gets kind of hectic out there. And I hate going out there when it's all crazy like that because we'll get a ton of people down here just for those two days. Um, then when the mini season's over, the actual full season starts on August 6th and runs through March 31st. And that also coincides with the actual commercial lobster season. So anyways, that is my setup uh, for the actual lighting and stuff. I'll show you that when I go out uh, 
Tuesday at midnight and uh, we'll see what we can do. Haven't done uh, bully netting since the last time I lived here in the Keys, so it should be pretty interesting. At least something different. And don't forget about sun protection. Remember, you're gonna be out there exposed to the full sun. You'll be getting in and out of that water and sunscreen is just not effective. You'll be outside sweating and then you're gonna jump in the water and it just washes right off. So think about an all about the bait, 100% poly long sleeve fishing shirt. Uh, they work excellent as a rash guard. That's primarily what I use. And that way, even when you're just cruising along the surface snorkeling, your back is not getting roasted. And then when you're up on the boat, you're not having to worry about dousing yourself with sunscreen. So just remember that because nothing is worse than getting burned on day one and not making it out on day two. So check out the new shirts, especially the new herded version. $30, UPF 50 www.allaboutthebait.com plus free delivery. Bye.